So by now there's already a ton of information available on YouTube and on Microsoft blogs regarding the new feature in PowerPoint that combines PowerPoint and live Power BI feed. Uh, this is going to be my take on the new feature and it contains a couple of error messages that I found at the beginning when I started using it and what I think I'm going to use the tool for. Well, not the tool, but the feature. You know what I mean. Okay, let's dig in. So here I am inside PowerPoint and um, I just created a random PowerPoint with the designer ideas and PowerPoint and Power BI just got better together. Two issues that I ran into when I was trying this for the first time. Now, there's something that you need to know. The Power BI feature is an add-on to PowerPoint. If your organization doesn't allow add-ons to Office applications, start complaining to your IT service and then and then uh, just wait because until you allow add-ins from the Microsoft App Source to PowerPoint, you won't be able to do this for now at least. So the first error message that I got was that I couldn't get a group accessibility. Um, I don't know what exactly happened here. This was uh, the error code that I got. I added, I added the Power BI uh, add-in and when I opened this up and I started trying to add a URL to it, I got this error message. Nothing really happened. That was followed up by another error message that tells me that there is an add-in error. I wasn't able to load the add-in because we couldn't connect to the catalog. Now, this wasn't related to my access or my login to the app catalog because I was logged in. All things considered, this probably was a preview bug that was subsequently solved because two days later, I could just add the Power BI add-in and start working with it. So when it works, it works. It is just an amazing tool. It even works on a MacBook. And I know that because my CEO now has a PowerPoint that contains the most important Power BI reports that he needs to watch and analyze on a frequent basis. He's not going into Power BI anymore. He opens his PowerPoint and just scrolls through the slides. At least that's what I think he's doing currently. This is an example. During the presentation, I now have a MailChimp campaign comparison report, which is in my personal Power BI workspace. And I can interact with this as if I was in Power, Power BI. And I can interact with this as if this was in Power BI. Now, you need to be aware that as soon as you click outside any of the visuals, you will skip to the next slide, such as what I'm doing right now, because the next slide is actually going to tell you how to create your own Power BI report within the PowerPoint uh, slide deck. So let's have a look. So from the PowerPoint presentation, I can see that this is a new add-in. It is the Power BI add-in that we're talking about today. It has one parameter that we need to fill in, and that is the report URL from the Power BI. And then we have the option to click on insert. How did I get this um, visualization here? Well, there is an insert option in the tab and there is a Power BI uh, toggle here. Enhance your PowerPoint storytelling by including Power BI reports directly into your presentation. If you click on this button, you'll get another one of these slides. Let me, let me show you that. So I can even click in a current uh, frame. And if I click on Power BI, it will fill that frame. So you can even pre-build how you want that visual to show up or how you want that report to show up. You can edit the length and width or the height and the width of your uh, slide, your Power BI slide. How do we get that URL? Well, there's two ways to go about this. You can either 
navigate to your Power BI report and just copy this one and, uh, and go about your day. There's also an option to export through this button here, PowerPoint and embed live data. Now, if you click on this one, you'll get the option to embed the report with the data filters you have currently selected. So that means that if you already have a filter or a certain set of filters that you want to pre-use in your PowerPoint, make sure to go through the export and then the live data PowerPoint. Here's another mention that currently this is a preview feature, so it might have some bugs in here, but trust me, it's going to be awesome. Copy and I can open PowerPoint or I can navigate to the PowerPoint that I already have open here. And then I can just paste that URL and you can see that there's a there's a suffix in this application from par, from entry point export and it has some more information in here. Um, I click on insert and magically my report will appear. Now, obviously I want to include my project online or my project for the web reports in here. And it's as easy as one, two, three. Here is the content pack that I've enriched with my risk matrix that you probably already have seen if you're a frequent viewer of my channel. This is just a page, just like any other. And as long as I have access to that URL, I'll be able to click on export, go to PowerPoint, I can embed an image or I can embed the live data. And obviously, if we have the option to go for live data, I would assume you would like to go to live data as well as I would. Copy that link. It tells you that it's copied to clipboard and navigate back to our PowerPoint. And on a page that we haven't filled in yet, we'll just paste that URL and I'll click on insert. Now be aware, this takes into account the permissions you as a user of PowerPoint, but also Power BI have to the data. So if you're getting a report from someone else that has different permissions than you do, you will see different things, or you might even not be able to see anything at all. Um, that is something to be aware of. However, this new feature, PowerPoint with Power BI Live Embedded is amazing. Now, as the page loads from the content pack with Risk Matrix, I'm probably going to follow this video up once the feature is out of preview and it's generally available because I think there are some little kinks that still need to be fixed, but other than that, it is an amazing new feature and I'm sure you would like to have this as well. Let me know in the comments below what you're going to use this for and make sure to subscribe to this channel if you like this kind of video. I'm doing videos related to Power BI as well as Project for the Web. Thanks for watching. Until next time.